Oh, hi. Thanks so much. Um, I just had a question um, in regard to the reproductive rate on slide 21. Um, here in Island Health, it's showing um, a higher number um, than most of the rest of the province when we have some of the lower case rates and higher vaccination rates. So I'm just wondering if you can explain some of the factors that drive this reproductive rate. Yeah, so the reproductive rate is, is how many people I transmit to on average uh, for every infected case. How many how many people on average does every infected case transmit to? And so that's a combination of things. And yes, we see in the on the island, um, as you say, lower case numbers, which means there's a wider confidence interval. So it's somewhere in between that range. But what it reflects is a higher rate of infectious contacts, which means somebody who's infected with the virus is having contact with more people and able to transmit it to more people. So things that we do that stop that are staying away from others if we're feeling unwell ourselves. Um, if we've been exposed to somebody who has uh, COVID-19, not going and uh, into uh, closed environments and, and talking with other people, keeping our groups low, but also uh, things like wearing masks in those indoor settings, cleaning our hands, all of those basic things. But also right now we're seeing that if you are vaccinated and you've been exposed, your risk is much, much less. So immunization and yes, as you say, we have very high rates of immunization on the island, but it's not equal across all age groups. So what we're seeing is transmission in clusters to groups of people who are unvaccinated. And that's mainly um, people younger in their 20 to 40 year old age range. So driving up immunization and staying away from others if you're sick, uh, getting tested. Those are the important things uh, to try and uh, bring that back down again.